freaking reaction gifts on Twitter, okay? I don't make the gif. I know there's like crazy content creators out there who are like, um, you know, did, did you see the gif of the guy lighting a firework on his balcony and then like the ace combat uh, HUD comes up over top and it locks in on his neighbor's apartment and then the firework launches, shoots into his neighbor's apartment and then just it gets filled with red lights and explosions. I don't do that. I don't make my own gifts. I, I recognize my status as a, as a millennial, which is essentially an online boomer. The way that it works is at least right now, because the internet came out like in our lifetimes, for most people watching this at least, on a consumer level, the internet is one generation younger than the world, is my personal opinion. So like the Gen Zs on the internet are actually millennials. Millennials are the boomers of the internet. And then the boomers are actually like the octogenarians of the internet. And if you're like 80 years old on the internet, then I'm assuming that you're one of the people who built it. So thank you for that and also F you for that. Anyway, we're playing Sporkle. It's been a while since we played Sporkle. It looks like the, it's a little themed here, at least through the first one. Can you name the film from a frame taken from the opening and final scenes? Yes. Well, I guess of course they're themed. It's the same movie. What about Gen X? Whatever. Why don't, you, why don't you listen to some great music that came out when you were 17? Best album that came out when I was 17? Let me think about that. That would be roughly 2004 to 2005. I'm going to have to give that one. To, I mean, Arcade Fire's Funeral. I know that the, the little bit of the shine has come off the rose. <laughs> Wolf Parade's Apologies for the Queen Mary. There's some great stuff in there. In Rainbows? Come, in Rainbows is like 2007. Don't insult me. Anyway. This must be Jurassic World. Jurassic World? This must be The Breakfast Club. You know what scared me? I've never seen The Breakfast Club, but I thought that this said Streamer High School. And I was like, now there's a, the worst YouTube Red original show of all time. This is Brightburn. No, I, this is A Quiet Place. Yeah, no, what? I know this guy. I know, bro, I know this guy. What's this guy's name? Oh, it's it. That's how I know him. It's young Bill Hader. Okay, this is Spider-Man 1. This is uh, Beetlejuice. Classic, classic ending. This is up. I've, I've never seen it. I know that sounds crazy. This must be Dunkirk. This is Ferris Bueller and his day off. I did not glance. I used context clues. This must be Deadpool. This is... This is Birdman? It is. I have seen Birdman. This is... Lawrence of Arabia? Is Lawrence spelled incorrectly? Is it Lawrence of Arabia? That looks way stupider. Maybe this isn't Lawrence of Arabia. Maybe this is Gandhi. Maybe this is Prince of Persia, <laughs> the Sands of Time. Maybe this is Lawrence of... <laughs> it doesn't look right. <laughs> it does not look right. This must be a Fast and Furious movie. Fast and Furious. I'm, I'm crazy. This is the Shawshank Redemption. This is... I mean, he's in a prison with, like... Like, that's a, a, a 20th century prison and then, like, a 17th century galleon. So I actually have no idea. Is this the Green Mile? I, I have no clue. No clue. Master and Commander is a good guess, but a, but a 20th century prison... I actually could not even hazard a guess at this one. I have no clue. This is, this is, um, uh, I was going to say Medea. This is Moana. <laughs> it's two, two very different movies. This is, uh, Lair Cake. This is, um, Casino Royale. Okay. I didn't know Casino Royale started in black and white. I haven't seen it in like 
well, I haven't seen the opening in a long, long time. I have no clue what this is. I'm going to say this is uh, Rosemary's Baby. Unknown. Who am I? Gilderoy Lockhart. This definitely looks like it's shot like a Harry Potter movie. This is Black Swan. This is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I for real thought that said Notorious Bald Man. Die Hard? Just has the palette of a Die Hard. This is A Quiet Place. Okay. She's got a pinky up on the shotgun. That's a new one. That's Kingsman, The Secret Service. This is uh, The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Never mind, it's The Hunger Games 1. This is Aladdin. Okay, we already... We, I'll take my 80%. Average score 64. Is it? I definitely feel like I could have gotten it. This kid is not in Stranger Things, but he could be. Also, he's probably like 25 now, so I'm not going to call him a, a, a kid. It's also not... Don't say shit. It Part 1 is a good movie. It Part 2 I haven't seen. Oh, it's the... I reference it every day. It's Kenneth Branagh's um, murder movies. On, extremely canceled ensemble cast murder movies. That's right. The Goonies. Okay. Alice in Wonderland. I saw that in theaters. I remember nothing. I saw it in theaters because my mom... My, for a period of time, my mom's ideal movie would be Tim Burton remaking uh, a, a book, making a movie of a favored book from her childhood. And uh, we, we made the mistake once of going to see Johnny Depp's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And we were both like, I mean, I was like 16, 17 when that came out. And we were both like, well, that was not very good. Then we re-upped in 2010 or whatever. And we saw um, Alice in Wonderland. And we said, you know what? Maybe that's the last time. Maybe that's the last time he, he tricks me. I'm not trying to insult the, the Johnny Depp one too much. It's just not as good as the original. It's different and not as good. Hey, The Godfather, that makes perfect sense. And then we got all the other ones, okay. There's a ton of these. Holy cow. This is Titanic. Like, always, every time I think of Titanic, it reminds me of that tweet where, like, it's guy, the, the tweet body is, like, guy getting into the taxi after uh, Jack gets out. Hey, who came in my taxi? And then somebody quote tweets it, and they're like, I don't get it. And then somebody else replies, and they're like, I think what they're trying to say is that... Uh, what, what happened in the events of the Titanic changed the future in such a way that it led to... And you're like, no, he just... There was a, they had intercourse. Or maybe, maybe it wasn't Leo DiCaprio. Maybe it was Billy Zane. I can't remember. But they, uh, they had intercourse in the taxi. Anyway. Titanic. The King's Speech. This is The Shape of Water. Incredible film. It's another Harry Potter, probably the first one. Nope. Oh, yes. This is Cars 1. These ones are a little easier so far. Now, this is like Inception. Now, this is like Planet of the Apes. Now, this is um, Rocky 3. This is the Shawshank Redemption. Jaws! That makes perfect sense. 300? Okay, that's a gimme. Is that Chris Evans? Chris, Chris Evans, Scarlett Johansson? Like, that is not The Hunger Games. I know you would think it's The Hunger Games. What the hell is this? Chris Evans, Scarlett Johansson? They, wait, no, they don't, I don't know. This is probably like best friends fuck. No strings attached. We, we're doing it now. What are these movies called? That's not Scarlett Johansson? 
Bro, that's Scarlett Johansson. It's definitely Chris Evans. You can tell from the millennial sideburns. This, there's no way this is the Avengers. They don't, they don't kiss. Oh, that's... Okay, no, you're right. This is Endgame. That's not Scarlett Johansson. That's Peggy Carter. And this is at the start of the movie when Hawkeye's family gets freaking obliterated in the dust. You're right. This is Avengers Endgame. Take the L on that one. This is like Vertigo. I've not seen a single Hitchcock movie. This is uh, The Hobbit, part one. An unexpected journey of 25 movies. This, this is... Oh, bro, I know this. This is Blade Runner. This is Frozen. That one was not even up for debate. This is Lawrence of Arabia. Oh, really? It's the mummy? Returns? Uh, it's Dune! Obviously it's Dune! Look at the costumes! Oh, this is Fight Club. Okay. It ends with Tom Jones singing in front of a bunch of deer. <laughs> I have no idea. That's Mars Attacks? I gotta see Mars Attacks again, man. This must be Bohemian Rhapsody, even though I've not seen it. This must be Mortal Kombat. With a K, sorry. This looks like Footloose for sure. It looks like they're kicking off their Sunday shoes. This is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay, never mind. This is The Dark Knight. This is probably a Narnia. The Chronicles of Narnia. This is Aragon. This is um, probably some young adult novel turned into a movie I have not seen, is my guess. Maleficent! To me, this looks like it could be Suicide Squad. This is Mo Monsters, Inc. Second Monsters, Inc. reference on the show today. Um, I haven't seen it, but th that's kind of a gimme. And this is La La Land. Okay, we, we beat our score by one. 84 to 60. We missed Jaws. The Avengers Endgame. That one hurts. Mars Attacks. Iconic and Maleficent. La La Land is better than Whiplash. Listen, I don't know if I'm joining you on that one, but I feel like La La Land is heavily underrated by my demographic, but we've been through this many times before. La La Land is like my classic example of like, I'm pretty sure that somebody, a very uh, influential YouTuber made like a video essay about how like this movie's not very good and Hollywood overrates it because they just love movies about Hollywood. And then it just got parroted over and over and over again, like the Indiana Jones Crystal Skull stuff after that South Park episode 17 years ago. La La Land is a great movie, dude. It doesn't have to be better than Whiplash. But La La Land is like, pe people, I think they, they crap on that movie undeservedly. Both of those movies are my tempo. First and last shot one. Possibly the most overrated movie of all time. Back to the Future. It's good. It's a good movie. It's got to be Finding Nemo. It's Inception, finally. I don't know. I simply, it looks like Terminator. Okay, I'm a genius. <laughs> this is uh, Fury Road. Mad Max of the Mad Max variety. This looks like Jurassic Park 1. Rear window. I'm crazy. I know this. I know this one. Are you upstream color? Are you adaptation? It's not an orchid, but still. I know this, bro. I know this one. It's Pan's Labyrinth. I'm a fool. This is the Shawshank Redemption. This would be 
Avengers 1. This is the Martian. 1815. This is Les Miserables. Okay, Les, they, they counted Les Mis. I was content to spell it. This to me, um, is it a nightmare before Christmas? Is it Metropolis? Is it um, Dial M for Murder? Is it uh, um, Das Boot? Is it um, Battleship Potemkin? What are we looking at here? Is this Citizen Kane, maybe? Probably should have gone with Citizen Kane earlier. It's Bloodborne. Ah, of course, Dr. Cagliari in the Cabinet of Curiosities. What was I thinking? This is Hot Fuzz. Lord of the Rings. It's King Kong. I could tell because of the enormous... Oh, whoa, okay. The enormous King Kong that was dead in the second shot. Twas Beauty killed the beast. Nightmare Before Christmas. This must be A Star is Born. Indiana Jones. Casablanca. Heard that's great. Never seen it, though. What am I looking at? Oh, this is Guardians of the Galaxy. This is Gravity. Ah, dude, it just takes a second. Uh, sometimes it doesn't take a second. This is Knives Out. I have seen Knives Out. Listen, I'm going to watch Glass Onion, okay? Joker! Joker in the Sporkle Quiz. Okay, 92 versus 60. We miss Pan's Labyrinth. And Edward Scissorhands. How much did Tim Burton pay you to put him on every single quiz? Okay, maybe one more. I mean, we've done this, you know, we, we, we've done our part here. We've demonstrated we got 80% competence. This is Tim Burton again, Batman. It's Godfather Part 2. It's her. Uh, this is probably the easiest one I've ever seen in my entire life. This is, uh, well, it, it's not getting much harder. Let's put it that way. Um, dude, I never realized, me seeing this in theaters as a 10-year-old, wow, this is the best, C computer graphics are so realistic, it's basically like Boss Nass is like a real person. Me looking at it now, it looks like, as Chibli would say, it looks like shit from ass. It looks so bad. <laughs> Oh, it looks freaking horrible, man. Why I was talking about it with Kate. Why is it that at the movie theater, CGI doesn't look that bad? But then, like, every time I watch a Marvel trailer, the comments are always like, the, the CGI looks horrible. Then I watch it in theaters, and I'm like, this shit looks incredible. Then I watch it at home on TV, and I'm like, this shit looks like garbage. People were right the whole time. I don't know, like, the, the movie theater screen is, like, bigger but lower def or something like that, so it's a little fuzzier. And also, like, when you watch it on a TV, like, your eye can capture the whole frame or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe at the movies, you're just, like, uh, you're already warmed up. You're like, oh, I'm so excited to see Quantumania or something like that. Then when you watch it at home and you already know what's happening you're like oh my god what the quantum realm looks like a magic eye puzzle anyway this is uh the phantom menace this has got to be mama mia this is interstellar chicago Blonde. Cruella. Cruella starts with her getting getting her, you know what, date? Gripping the sheets? I haven't seen There's a Disney movie. Yes, there's no way. 
Anyway, this is Greece, but there's no shot, dude. I don't believe it. <laughs> this is the princess and the frog. City slickers. Blazing saddles. The uh, uh, unforgiven. Who cares? Hot hot guns? What's it called? Young guns? Young guns? Oh, it's Indiana Jones? Whatever. I don't watch westerns. Trolls 1? Trolls 2? Trolls 2 World Tour? The Croods? I don't know any of these movies. I'm sure I'll learn them all. <laughs> I'll learn them all in time. There's Nomeo and Juliet. Oh, okay, my mistake, my mistake. This is District 9? Great movie. Apollo's favorite movie? This is Wonder Woman 1. Shit's got to be like another Harry Potter. This is War of the Worlds. This is Manhattan. It's fucking Annie Hall. It's fucking New York City, baby. Love the Mets. I don't know this one. I don't know this one. I know that that's in New York, though. This is definitely Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> this is the the second Lord of the Rings. The seventh seal, of course. This is the greatest showman. I got to say, by the way, can I apologize to Hugh Jackman? I have previously... First of all, you need to know, I don't know anything about steroids, Okay. I've previously said there's no way this guy isn't juicing. He's like 59 years old and he has a 12-pack. He gave an interview around the release of The Wolverine in like 2013 where he was like, I'm not on the juice. I've just... before." And then, listen, I'm not saying he's, he's telling the truth. All I'm saying is that maybe... So his, he originally was like a trophy husband, so he had to keep himself in great shape. I did see this in the R Movies comments. And then he became an actor. So he's like, he's had 30, 40 years of like always being in shape. Maybe that's the kind of physique that you could get if you just never, ever, ever lapsed. Over 40 plus years. Like, I'm, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Also, did you read the interview where he said that he didn't know anything about the character of Wolverine when he got hired? Because he was like an emergency replacement. So he, uh, when he went to the first shot, like, he was doing all these, like, howls and stuff like that, and he was running around on, like, all fours, and the director was like, what are you doing? And he's like, well, I'm part wolf. And he's like, no, you're not. You're Wolverine. And he was like, oh, okay. I'm I, it's in the same interview where he said he doesn't use steroids. He said that. Anyway, this is The Greatest Showman. This is Wreck-It Ralph. This would be Iron Man 1. Don't talk to me about Forrest Gump. Is Bambi? <laughs> I mean, Snow White? I mean, Cinderella? I mean, the Beauty and the Beast? Yellow Dress, Beauty and the Beast. Bro, I don't... I'm sure I've seen this shit. Finn? Is this Noah? So it's got Darren Aronofsky written all over it. No, it's Sharknado? Is it really Sharknado? There does appear to be a NATO. I, I couldn't tell if it was a shark. Nomeo and Juliet. Night at the Museum. Fair enough. That's Django Unchained. Sharknado. You know what? There are a lot of fins in the water now that I think about it. For some reason, I was like, this is Prometheus. <laughs> and his crown. 
Well, it was the worst ones. Actually, it was tied for the worst one so far. It was still pretty good, though. I know people get sick of the movie stuff. They're like, please, please, please do some quizzes about European geography so we can laugh at you. Okay, then maybe I will. Maybe I will. F people love the food quizzes, too. That is for sure. Please do a, a quiz called Are You Stupid? <laughs> you, you, you insult me. I'm just typing food into the quick bar. The problem is there's like 90 different quizzes that are like, name a red food. And then there's like a thousand different quizzes that are like, name this fast food brand. And I'm like, can we do, we need to like, we need to truncate that. We need to, we need to append them. You're kind of off center in your frame. Yeah, I know. It's like my desk is, maybe we had an earthquake or something. Here's the thing. I like to have my, my left arm on this part of my desk because there's like air next to it. So if I move myself center, my arm is dangling. And if my arm's dangling, that's, it's bad for the tendons. I suppose I can move the camera, but then if I move the ca listen, move the camera, all of a sudden you're seeing the, the whole Peloton screen. I don't want you to get my username and then you're like, Oh, I'm going to add you, and then, oh, you, your output is so high that you must be cheating, but actually it's just like the result of a lot of consistent hard work, like every morning. I just don't want to deal with that, okay? Hello, Apollo, by the way. Biking for Gru. Me, so true. Me, when I'm biking for Gru, I am biking for Gru. About that maybe that fixes it a little bit. What am I even? I'm, I should be looking for a quiz. How about gross food? Survivor gross food challenge? Eat it or yeet it dish. Can you identify some of the grossest or most memorable dishes on the Smosh Pit show? Eat it or yeet it? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think I could. I'm going to type recipe. Rock and roll recipes? Making pancakes? Can you follow the instructions and make pancakes? How much flour is in this dish? The recipe is missing one ingredient. No, we don't do that. We, we, we do picture quizzes. I'm a simple man. The picture quizzes are the most clickable. Do a quiz on 90s cartoons? No, it's like the most easy way to make people like angry at me is to show them how little I know about cartoons that are like considered core parts of their personality. So true, so true. Like I've seen a lot of King of the Hill. I just don't, you know. Do you ask? I would know like four characters' names on it. Can you match the... Chicken cooking term with its image. Huh? Okay, well, like, this is chicken sashimi. It's one of my favorite ways to take it. This is pretty good, too, though. This is called a chicken lattice. This is a damn nightmare. Listen, I don't, I don't like to judge food too much. This one is a damn disaster. I don't know what's this steamed chicken. <laughs> me and who by the way oh anyway let's just send it rotisserie chicken that's this bad boy right there shredded that's you basted that's not a manner of cooking this is a manner of it's an addendum to the cook but sure creamed chicken i'm gonna pass on that one for just a second i've never heard of it deep fried well, I mean, it depends, like, this is all, I mean, I guess that could be shallow fried. This is, I guess, deep fried. Diced. What is this quiz? Flambe. It's on fire. Sautéed. Trust. Ground. Breaded. Grilled. Well, I guess. Barbecued. Spatchcocked. Steamed. Who's making this? I guess you're creamed chicken. 
All right, you got 100%. It's one of the strangest quizzes I've ever seen in my life. I don't think I've, I've eaten a lot of chicken breasts in my life. I've never heard of a steamed chicken. Doesn't that take like hours to cook? Chicken breast takes like 20 minutes to bake. It's an Albany expression. How about an egg cooking picture glossary? I know, I listen. I hate to taunt you by putting pictures of things that are expensive on the screen, like luxury cars, you know, expensive vacations, a single egg from the grocery store these days, but let's give it a try. I'm not as well versed in the eggs, okay? But I, I think we can use context clues to help ourselves get there. Sunny side up egg, that's you right there. An omelet, that's you. A deviled egg is you. Scrambled, my beloved. An egg souffle. feel like it's you. Quiche. I know quiche. Quiche is you. Baked on cocotte. <laughs> I'm going to pass that for maybe this, but I'm going to pass it for a second. No, that's shaksuka. And then eggs benedict would be one of these. A meringue is you. A plain poached egg. A scotch egg. A hard-boiled plain egg. Eggnog, over easy, and baked on cocotte. I'm cracked. I'm insane. I'm out of control. I know, I know the 15 ways to make eggs. How do you know all this? You just pick it up. Once you start going for hungover brunches, that's, you pick up a lot of stuff about eggs. Probably learned like six new egg dishes the first time I ever went to a hungover brunch. As a teenager, I only knew scrambled, hard-boiled, and the fact that you can order sunny side up, but that's how people in the 70s ordered their eggs at a diner. Art term picture glossary. Now this is, uh, this is going to be a disaster. This, I don't like looking at this picture. I've seen it a million times. I guess it's a painting, not a picture. The dude's got a cut under his, like, ribs, and then this dude's sticking his finger in, going like, ah, it grosses me out, man. Impasto. Uh, among Us? Impasto Among Us? This guy kind of looks like an Among Us, honestly. Maquette. Multiple Exposure. That's the Mona Lisa. Okay, this is money. Ukiyo-e. I'm fucked. Sfumato. Lacquerware. Okay, lacquerware. The, you seem like lacquer. Oh! <laughs> perspective? Doesn't everything have a perspective? Maybe this is perspective. Hey! Okay, okay. Quadratura Trompe l'oeil. It's a Pixies album. And the Pixies album, the cover, that's called Trompe Le Monde, now that I think about it. I don't know. Kind of looks like this, this, I don't know. Mosaic. You're a mosaic. A relief. Isn't a relief like, uh, it's like this? Nope. It's that. Cloisonne. Pointillism. I know pointillism. This is where you make a lot of dots. Am I crazy to think that you look like pointillism to me? A still life? All of them are still. They're paintings. What? It's not the Mona Lisa? Okay, calligraphy is just writing. I don't mean to insult you, but like, this is calligraphy, I guess. Chiaro scuro. I'm going to have to pass on that one. Encaustic painting. To pass on that one real quick. Polyptic. <laughs> I feel like it's just, it just seems like you. Okay, not right. A caricature. There we go. Sand painting. Could this be like a mandala painted in sand? It is. I'm a genius. A mural. You're kind of a mural. You look muralescent, okay? A collage. You're a collage. 
A monochrome woodcut. You're monochrome. You're monochrome. You're, it's probably you. Stereograph. Probably something you spin. Isn't this like a magic eye? Is like a stereograph? I'm just going to try it on the money. No, no, it's a fake 3D image. A tessellation. A tess How many times am I going to click on this damn lizard? Aren't you tessellated? Isn't tessellated when you turn like uh, shapes into other shapes? You seem tessellated to me. Intaglio. Okay, it's Italian. I'm just going to be honest. This dude looks Italian. Nope. That's money. Money is in Taglio. Impasto. Maquette. For me personally, a maquette is like a mannequin, like this. I'm crazy. Multiple exposure. Ukiyoe. <laughs> uh, probably this. It makes perfect sense. A sfumato. Paul Bufano. Paul, F Paul Bufano. You're a sfumato. Trump lawyer, that's probably you. Yeah, and a cloison. Which one of these images looks the most French? This one. You're a you're probably a charoscuro, and you're an encaustic painting. I beat the average. That is actually staggering. I am not art-pilled at all. I can probably name like seven painters. And I was one of those idiots who for a long time thought Pablo Picasso lived in like the same time as Leonardo da Vinci. Remember the first time I saw a photo of Pablo Picasso being like, how'd they get a photo of this guy? And why does he look so modern? Okay, you got Picasso and Leonardo da Vinci. Matisse, Manet, Monet, Van Gogh. Basquiat. <laughs> it's very embarrassing for me. Did Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael. Emily Carr? Emily Carr? Rembrandt! Rembrandt, that's a big one. Frida Kahlo! I've even seen the movie. Da Salvador Dali, Edward Munch, Jonas Vermeer. So true, so true. Jackson Pollock, Georgia O'Keeffe. I've heard of several of them. I just couldn't, I couldn't conjure them. Flag design picture glossary? Come on. Stick, give, give me some medieval swords, okay? Which one of these is a shield? Which one of these is a galley? Okay. My nautical experience tells me that a galley carries a lot of people. That is you. A battering ram. This should be easy enough. It's you. A battlement. That's like, to the battlements. Yeah, right there. The mur murder hole. <laughs> um, the murder hole. I'm not familiar with that. I'm going to assume that maybe it's, well, that's probably like a gate. Uh, it's a gate. That's a, like a, a, a bigger gate. A murder hole. Feels like you should be able to get it from a context clue. Maybe it's this. That, it looks like a roof to me, but maybe you just stick like a musket out there or something. A siege tower. You're a siege tower. A morning star. A pike. I think it's you. A trebuchet with a counterweight. That's you. A ballista. Right there. A drawbridge. Okay, this is kind of, kind of driving me crazy. You're, are you a, I guess you're a drawbridge. Never mind. It's not driving me crazy. An arquebus is a, a, an early firearm. A scimitar. Curved sword. Palisade is like a fence. I guess this would be the palisade. A bow. Or perhaps, yeah, okay, not a bow. A portcullis. I guess you're the portcullis. A, a junk. 
a moat, a manganel attraction trebuchet. That would be you. And a, a, a barbican jar wall and a murder hole. This one's crazy for me because I feel like both of these could be um, murder holes. Like, I definitely feel like if, if people started running through this, you the people that are defending could turn this into a murder hole. This looks like a hole that you could murder people from, but it's also five holes. I'm going to say that this is the, the murder hole, though, and this is the jar wall. I'm crazy. The jar wall bacons at midnight. It's more of a kill box. You're right. To, to quote Iron Man 2. Motherboard components by image? Nope. Southbridge I.O. controller hub. I'm going to... Uh, listen, you're the um, CPU and you're RAM. <laughs> and you are also RAM. And then, I don't know, you're, it looks like you do something to do with cooling, I would say. That's maybe cooling... These are capacitors, of course, um, of some sort. CPU socket. The ATX 24 pin power supply. And this one's only got eight pins, so I know it's not that. That looks like way more than 24 pins. I'm pretty sure that's RAM. You're, are you, maybe a power supply comes in here? Nope, no, it does not. CPU fan connection. I'm going to say it's probably that right there. An ATX 2x4 pin power supply. That's you right there, of course. Northbridge, that's your memory controller hub. Memory slots, sorry, my mistake. Your SATA connections right there. Um, your IDE connections probably right up here then. External USB connections. <laughs> Why, does, why, why do they have a condom on the motherboard? Is that like a just-in-case, break-in-case-of-emergency sort of thing? But I don't know. honestly don't know. External... I mean, there's only a few things left at this point. It's got to be you, right? Your PCI slots? Your front panel... I don't even know what's left, man. You're not a front panel connection. You're the battery that powers the whole thing, probably. And I don't even know what you are. A, a prophylactic. There's three remaining. Where's the third? It's got a, It's this one. Front panel connections. CMOS battery. Southbridge I.O. controller hub. Sorry, excuse me. He's done it. Movie characters by multisyllabic adjectives. Delusional. Okay, just give me a second. I was hoping it would be like Ghost. Here's the thing. John Nash is delusional, but I, I, I don't know. I'm just not comfortable with it yet. Implacable. I would say a lot of these characters cannot be placated. Like Judge Dredd? You can't placate Judge Dredd. He is the law. Duplicitous? Um, I would, again, say many of these characters are duplicitous. Uh, Gordon Gecko is pretty duplicitous. I would say George Clooney and Oh Brother Where Art That was pretty duplicitous. I would say that uh, Hannibal Lecter is pretty duplicitous. Even Yoda is kind of duplicitous. No, there is another. Okay, so sagacious, that's Yoda. Garulous, I don't even know what that means. Parsimonious. It's probably you. <laughs> but I don't know half of these words. Obsessive. Obs they're all obsessive, dude! They're, they're all obsessive. Okay, hold on. Pugilistic. That would be Raging Bull. Rapacious. Gordon Gecko. Optimistic. Annie. Ethereal. Slimer. Radamanthine. Okay. Um, impecunious. Cosmopolitan. This shit is impossible. Quiescent, evangelistic. Jules. Monocular. Mike Wazowski. Contumacious. Cannibalistic. Hannibal Lecter. Delusional. John Nash. Okay. Implacable. 
I mean, the Terminator also can't be play placated. Duplicitous. I feel like the most duplicitous that I recognize here is George Clooney. No, nope. that's Eve from All About Eve. She's duplicitous. Pusillanimous. Isn't this cowardly? It is. Obsessive. Most obsessive is Kathy Bates. Radamanthine impecunious. Cosmopolitan. Quiescent. Contumacious. Garrulous. This sounds like angry. <laughs> nope. Radamanthine. This sounds like it's from a black and white movie. Nope. Impecunious, that's James Bond. Can't you just picture Money Penny saying, James, you're so impecunious. You're incorrigible. Quiescent. Contumacious. Contumacious? Quiescence? Okay, well, we beat the average. Nobody knows what any of these words mean. Under the hood picture glossary? Oh, you're about to find out just how stupid I am. I know nothing about cars. Eight is definitely... No, I'm... one is where there's some fluid in one, for sure. Four is where you... That's how you start the car, when you go... Broom, da, 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 da. I think you're like... Um, I'm just going to have to guess that you're a carburetor, quite frankly. A radiator reservoir, I mean, straight up to me. Well, like this looks like a radiator. Or maybe three is the radiator, I don't know. Access to shock, I'm freaking screwed, dude. Air conditioning components, radiator cap. Okay, you're, you're the radiator. Or you're the radiator, you're the radiator cap. No! <laughs> Brake fluid reservoir. I hope that they give you a lot of that stuff because I don't want that to to run out while I'm driving. So I'm going to say that's one. Nope. Power steering check and fill. That's probably number one then. Oh, okay, the fuse box. To me, that looks like a clear number six. Air filter. We're going to toss that in as a number five. Windshield washing fluid, number one. <laughs> Your transmission dipstick. I mean... I'm going to have to say that that's this bad boy right here. Engine oil fill cap. That's got to be an eight. Technical labels is 12. Your other dipstick. I didn't know. I don't know if they've heard of second dipstick, Pippin. There's only five remaining. There's this... This, this, <laughs> this. Okay, you, you also look like a dipstick. The hood latch. That should be, I would expect it to be somewhere around here. I'm lost, okay. Radiator reservoir, that's number one. Access to shock absorbers. I'm trying to just figure out what we have left that we've not clicked on. We have 14. I'm going to assume you're the conditioner, air conditioner components. Nope. Are you the latch? Is this, is this a perspective thing? You're shock absorbers. Where the, the hood latch is like, it's like this thing. I can't click on it. Chad, I feel like I'm losing it. Is there like a, is, is there one that I'm missing here? Number 15. Was that not what I clicked on? Is this not number 15? It's a scroll. <laughs> oh, dude, I beat the average. I beat the average. Oh. I can't believe it. We, we got a nice uh, bit of momentum in the middle of the quiz. What's it? Picture glossary. Can you name each thing here? Okay, you got a... I don't know, maybe. Nope. 
Yeah, yeah, an eyelid. This is on your shoe. Yeah, no, it's on the edge of your shoelace. Draft Dodger? I don't know. I, I honestly couldn't tell you yet. Keeper. A Ferul? The Intero Bang. A QR code. A Brannock device. An Allen key? An Obelis? A punt. A peen. <laughs> a snood. A lemniscuit. A zarf. A pizza saver. Also known as a pizza table. Safety square. Octothorpe. A snellin chart. Souffle cup. A tittle. Not saying it. I'm not saying it. An ideal locator. A growlix. Oh no, we're at the start. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, I am gonna say, let's just go through it one more time, real quick. A draft dodger. I feel like it could be like. Am I crazy to think that this could be called a draft dodger? Is it like you couldn't be drafted if your shoes were too small or something? I don't know. A keeper. Which of these things keeps? This keeps the cork on. Not like it's going to pop out anyway. The bottle kind of keeps it on. You seem like you keep things. Look, you like wrap it around. It keeps. Keeper. Fair rule. You know what? This is like, it's like a ruler. Fair rule. It's called an eraser, by the way. A Brannock device. Okay, this is a Brannock device. An obelis. I'm passing. Punt. It's the dent in a bottle. Oh, he's crazy. Snood. Maybe they're not called coffee sleeves. Maybe they're called coffee snoods. Nope. Lemniskit. Lemniskit. A zarf. This thing's kind of shaped like a Z. Nope. Hey, can I get a zarf from my pike place, please? A tittle. I feel like the most likely of these to be a tittle is this. Like these two letters have a tittle on them. A quincunx, a, quin a, a QC, a QC on this one. Sounds like Greek. I'm going to assume that it has to do with math. I'm going to call this the divide symbol. Nope. That makes way more sense, actually, because it's got a five on it. Maybe that's what it means. It's not a dice. It's a five. A grolix. It's you. An agraph. What's the most French one remaining? It's you. Draft Dodger. I guess it's got to be the this, because it's not going to, like, none of these are going to be Draft Dodgers. An Obelus and a Lemniscuit. You're an Obelus. No, nope, never mind. Well, that was hard. It says Draft on it. Okay, yeah, if you have, like, 20, if you have Matt Sundin vision... Oh, it's the one of the things you put under the door so that a wind the wind doesn't blow in. Ah. French job picture glossary. A farmer. A professor. My French is pretty cracked. I just need to my my eyes are not cracked though. You're the professor, a bijoutier. A serveur. The server would be the server, yes, you, a pilot, mm, that would be someone flying an airplane, that would be you, an officier de police, dude, French is so easy, an electrician, a charpentier, 
Uh, French is impossible. A boue way. A boue. Hold on. Doctor, I can do that one. Boulanger. Pompier. Soude. Judge. Camionneur. Plombier, I could do that. You know who would be cracked at this is uh, Sips. Scientifique, archaeologue. Where's, where's my archaeologist at? Is it you? Bijoutier. A boue. Pompier. Soude. Camionneur. Okay, I have no idea of any of these. Um, I'm going to say that this is a jeweler. Pompier. I don't even know. By, so this is like a welder. And this is a firefighter. This is a sanitation engineer. I don't know what this guy's job is. Just because I see him with a truck... I'm not going to make an assumption. A lot of people drive trucks for their jobs. Soudeur? Camionneur? This sounds like the, a truck driver to me. Camionneur. Eboué? Pompier? Pompier seems like welder. Uh, Soudeur? I think Sudur is garbage. Well, I, I fell apart at the end. But that was pretty good. Oh, solder! It's solder! It's so easy! And Pompier, because they pump the water to fight the fire. French sport picture glossary. This, you think this person might be French? I see a uh, Locky du Ice. I see a uh, Mange la Piscine. Le Bal 